Here we go. Alright, can everyone hear me okay? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I'm not really good at this sort of thing about just having a formal event like this, but um, I'll just start by saying how I met Mazur. Dylan and I were trying to make a late night guild on Malganis when we both came back to the game after a extended an extended break. It had been a long time since we'd played. Um, Mazur applied to our guild. He was a priest. He played all specs of priest. He loved every aspect of the class. It had been his main forever. And he was most comfortable, I think, with healing than DPSing. And he was literally the most easygoing person I have ever met. Everyone who came into contact with him just was at ease. He was very calm. He laughed a lot. And he just, you could never bother him. Um, we had some volatile like raid experiences a few times, I think, in our, in our guild, as like most guilds have when progression is happening. And Mazur was never bothered. Like, he just went with the flow, and when everyone was getting heated, he just stayed cool, as always, and it's truly sad that he's left this world. Um, I got close with Mazur because we bonded over chronic illness. Both of us have had just a lifetime of issues, and we've spent so much time in different treatments, and hospital, doctor's appointments, mysteries, pain, sickness, lowered immune system. There were so many things that we shared in common and it was really nice in the comforting way that I wasn't alone and when I wasn't feeling well, I always knew I could be accepted by Mazur and I didn't have to pretend to be healthy or normal. He was just okay with everything and he was always so nice to me. He just, he never, he didn't have a mean bone in his body, honestly. And I, I guess I'll say more in a little bit, but if anyone wants to come like say anything nice, just like a sentence or two of Mazur, you know, now could be a good opportunity. I'll put the pillar of light here. Hey guys, um, I'm Dylan, if some of you don't know. Um, I was with Sam when we recruited Mazur, and I definitely like to take the time to say that he was a great healer and a really, really good person when it came to try always getting better. He always wanted to get better, and he always took the time to. Um, but beyond being a great player he was a great person he loved the game to death he was very kind uh and a lot of times like even if he was in the hospital he'd still be playing you know uh he was a great person in and out of the game thank you do have to say that he would have loved this place. This is, I don't know, we never went here together, but Maria mentioned it. 
and it's great because the fairies are even drunk and he would love that he would absolutely love that and i appreciate all of you on i see one person on like a, oh yeah two people on motorcycles he loved to ride his motorcycle he sent me a few selfies of himself on his motorcycle and i know he went snowmobile in with his dad and he loved his pets he had three dogs loved him so I was just going to say something if my mic is working. Yeah, sure. Um, so I didn't know Mazer personally, but to see all of you guys here and the impact that he had on all your lives, it really solidifies um, the, the amazing person he must have been. Uh, it's often said that online friendships are meaningless and temporary, but I see all of you here today, and I can't believe that, and I will not absolutely believe that, that if, if this isn't a, a sign of true, real love, no friendship, then God knows, I don't know what it is. Uh, Mazir has shown us truly that love and family is not about the blood in our veins, but by the love in our hearts. Um, and and uh, that death is not the end, for love goes on, and his legacy will, will live on for all of us. Thank you, Uncle. Maria, are you still here? Yeah. So, sorry, I'm kind of a mess. It's okay. So, um, when Mazza joined uh, Whisper 111, uh, um, I wasn't raining at the time, but... Um, I like to reach out to anybody that's new that joins and we were talking and uh, he's asking why I don't raid and I'm saying I had quit for um, health reasons or making me unable to keep up for raids or be consistently there and so we started sharing and we had a very similar health history as children We were both pretty much near death, like within a few hours as children. And immune systems just wiped out, lost. I mean, just, I almost fell out of school. I don't remember if he said if it was the same, but just. It's an extremely isolating thing to go through as a child and finding someone that shared that I mean there's just like an instant connection like uh, and it makes you really feel not as lonely like your childhood experience wasn't unique I mean other people live this and also in a way, it makes it just sort of like not abnormal and is freakish. <laughs> so, um, I know as he was raiding and he started having trouble with health, you know, he had to miss, and and, and then he's like, checks himself out of the hospital, and he's like back in raids, and then the next day, this crazy guy is like sending selfies from his motorcycle <laughs> and it's just like they didn't want him let let him out of the hospital he checked his butt out and he's he's just like one of the toughest people I've met
thank you so much, Maria, for sharing. I can definitely relate with the isolation of chronic illness and the severity of that and how it is an instant connection. And you're right, he was so strong. So thank you. Is that Ed? Yeah. Ed, your mic is muted. I'm going to read it out loud for Ed. He says, I have so much background noise that I would ruin it, so I will type. When we first started raiding, we were not the best, any of us. We hit the enrage on Nithendra, for God's sake. Every week we got better and better. All of our numbers improved. But Mazur had some of the biggest improvements. He would always help us out with dungeons, with dailies, whatever. And um, Ed, if you type in party chat, it'll show up as a bubble, I think, for me on my stream. He was the kind of guy that would never hide a ma plus key from you. Yeah, in slash say works as well, I think. Actually, yeah, try, try that. I didn't see a chat bubble for your slash say. There we go. Thank you, Ed. That was wonderful. I'm sure he would laugh at that.
All right, guys. Um, I'd like to close with a prayer for Mazer, a.k.a. Mikey. If you all will bow your heads or take a knee. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. And thank you for everything that you do. Whether as sometimes it feels like things are being taken away from us. Good people, good things. Let it be known that it's not just taking away. Let us know that Mazer, a.k.a. Mikey, his life was put to good use in a rebirth of another. I'd like to believe that a beautiful soul didn't fade away. It was brought anew in a new life. So, thank you for everything that you do. And let us, let us have a good day and not in just not in a depressing and sad way, but a, more of a celebration give us that celebration of life and what Mikey's life really meant to us. Know that what you do is great and that he is in hopefully a better place thanks to you. And if not, let us pray for his family. Let us pray for everyone that cared for him, everyone that was there. And just protect him and his family forever thank you for all you do in Jesus name we say amen amen These are fireworks that a game master gave me with her condolences. Thank you, Mazur, for being amazing. I honestly can't think of someone who fit the role better of priest than Mazur. I honestly, I really can't. He was so kind and nurturing and easygoing, and he always wanted to help people. So thank you all so much for coming. I think the fairies are going to sing again here soon, actually. Um, if somebody wants to fly up really high, hit the ground, and die, I can cremate a body. Oh my god. <laughs> so morbid. <laughs> what? He would have liked that. He would have, actually. Here, I'll do it. Can you try and fall in the light? I'll put another stone down. Let's find a it. blood elf should. All right. You should put an X <laughs> marks the spot. Oh my god, are you serious? Okay. I think okay. you need to be higher. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no. Hold on. Let me just show my interface. X marks the spot like this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh god, he would like this. You volunteered. You can't you can't back off now. You have to. <laughs> you have to All die. Right. <laughs> Coming for you, Mazer. Are you seriously gonna cremate my body? <laughs> yeah, I've never <laughs> used it before. <laughs> okay, here I go. Great falling. A really good sense of humor. Now you're on fire. <laughs> it's pretty great, actually. Can you res me now so I can have more fireworks? You know, I've never used the cremating torch until today. And I got it, like, I think three expansions ago. No, nope, looks like somebody else got you. Thank you. 
You're still smoldering. <laughs> That's awesome. I have a bunch of fireworks still to go. So anyone, you are free to go. We probably so shouldn't much. have cremated the person with the fireworks, just saying. That's true. I want to hear the fairy song one more time. Maria, where are you? Yeah. Here. I'm giving you a hug. I've already cried so much about this. Like, I'm probably gonna cry later when this all hits me, but I am just. You can call me I've if you need to. I've been such a Sam. mess. Thank you. Alright, that was the last of the fireworks. dance party. Well, apparently a giant raccoon doesn't know how to dance. inappropriate for the music. It's the orc way though, right? Dr. Argogar? If it were the goblin way, I should be hustling everyone. Yes! He was a goblin. Yeah, that's true. Female blood elves are also pretty inappropriate for this. Why did we have to be Horde? I see you there. I see you, Maria. Zoom in on you. Go dance in that spotlight for Mazur. Was he into Hearthstone? Not that I remember. I only I don't, played WoW with I him. I don't think so. I wish there could have been more people here. As far as just like from his past, but I don't know how to reach them, you know? Yeah. But maybe someday they'll see the video. I'm gonna put it on his Facebook timeline. It's likely that there are some people who will find it. I have a praise from Whisper one that he couldn't make it, but he'll be watching the video later. Great. I'll link it to him. Well, to you. And you'll link it to I, him. Um, I sent him the Twitch stream, but I don't know if that you can watch the recording from that. I think so, yeah. I think it automatically records everything. And thank you so much for coming, Chris. I know Mazur would have appreciated it. 
Everybody funny. should get drunk. Actually, that's a great idea. It's a, do you have- Yeah, I've thrown down like three cakes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, what? Can I use that? Yeah, oh it's a mysterious brew. Drink my imagine. screen is getting so blurry, my eyes hurt. Do I just have to keep clicking and just get drunker and drunker? Yeah, the more blurry your screen gets, and then your character will start talking funny. Oh, this is perfect. Thank you for doing this. And thank you all for coming. I truly appreciate it. Oh my god, my eyes hurt so much. <laughs> This is like looking through someone else's glasses. Yeah, you're drunk. <laughs>